tiny treasures and toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are in the night garden and here comes little Macapaca with his og pog. Macapaca. And he has his sponge and his soap and his uff uff. Macapaca. Here comes the pinky punk flying up ahead. Look out below, Macapaca. The pinky punk has a surprise for us today. Thank you, Pinkie Punk. Oh, the Pinkie Punk dropped a beautiful velvet purple bag. Tiny Treasures Minnie is here to help us open it. Say hi, Tiny Treasures Minnie. Hi. Can you squeeze whatever's in the bag out? Feels like a ball. It's a surprise ball. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Squeeze and pull. Oh, it looks like a little baby unicorn. And these are the different unicorns inside. What color will we get? Which tin do we have? Oh, that's right. We have the unicorn with the green mane. Now let's see which teeny tiny unicorn is inside. What color did we get? Purple. Purple. And it has a little gold horn. Okay, Tiny Treasures Minnie, can you put the little unicorn inside the gazebo? Maka -paka. And let's watch the little mini unicorn bounce up and down. Oh. oh! Wow! It bounced very far. Now let's put our little unicorn back in the tin so it doesn't get lost. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye! Tiny treasures and toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we play with Iggle Piggle and Macapaca. Let's go play in the gazebo. Where did Iggle Piggle go? He went to go get the ball. A yellow ball. Oh, go get the ball, Macapaca, and kick it back to Iggle Piggle. Oh dear, the ball went down the hill. It's okay, Macapaca will go down the hill to get the ball. Macapaca! Good job, Macapaca. Oh dear, it's starting to get dark. It's time for bed. Hmm, Iggle Piggle has something for Macapaca. A lantern so Macapaca can see his way back to the cave. Thank you! Bye bye. Good night. Good night, Macapaca. Have a good sleep. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to show you our new Macapaca toy in the night garden. Make him wobble, Macapaca wobble toy. So a wobble toy doesn't have any legs. Oh no, Macapaca has no legs. That's okay because Macapaca likes to wobble. And Macapaca makes a little ringing sound when he wobbles. So it's very heavy on the bottom and he has a soft, squishy top which allows him to wobble. It's a great little toy for little babies or little kids who love Macapaca. So thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to show you our Macapaca toy collection. And as you can see, 
we have some that are very much the same and some that are very different. Let's start with this Macapaca. This is one of my favorites. Macapaca has a sponge, the soap, the og pog, and the wheel spins. Bye, Macapaca. Macapaca. These two Macapacas are the same, although one is a little darker in color. They're both carrying little sponges, and they both belong to Mega Blocks. See the bottom? Those holes, they belong on top of a big Mega Block. Next we have our soft and cozy Macapacas. These Macapacas are the same as well, but this one has a little bit of a darker head than this one. And they're soft and squishy, and they will fit into almost any little space. If you roll them up, they'll fit into an egg, or they can fit into these rocks that are part of the soft and cozy playset. Let's put one in. Go on inside the rock, Macapaca. That's right. And you as well, Macapaca. Macapaca! We also have our big, hard Macapaca. And poor Macapaca has gotten a few boo boos along the way. And there's his little tail, and the paint's sort of worn off a bit. And these two little Macapaca characters are also the same. Also different in color slightly. Macapaca. Now we have three little soft, cute Macapacas. Macapaca. One, two, three. And they don't make any noise. They're just soft and squishy and cuddly. Now our last Macapaca is the great big talking Macapaca. When you push Macapaca's tummy, he talks. How cute. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch our videos. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to join our little soft and fluffy Macapaca. Macapaca! And we have our little wooden Macapaca puzzle toy. And who better to help us than little Macapaca himself? Isn't little Macapaca so cute? Okay, Macapaca, we are going to build the wooden Macapaca today. So first we need to take the pieces apart. First we remove the head, then your arms. Ah! It's okay, Macapaca. This is just a toy and we will put it right back together. Don't worry. Macapaca. Then we remove the tail, the bottom, and the two rings. And as you can see, it says Macapaca at the bottom. All the pieces have been taken off, Macapaca. Are you ready to put them back? Macapaca. Okay, Macapaca, you point to what piece belongs on the first. This one, Macapaca? Macapaca! You're right. See how it says Maca? Maca. Paca! Okay, Macapaca. Let us know which piece we put on next. Macapaca! That one? Let's try and see if it works. That looks like it belongs. 
You are right, Makapaka. Now this may be a tricky one. Which piece goes next? <laughs> this one, Makapaka? Makapaka. Let's try it out. I think you are right, Makapaka. Okay, Makapaka, your turn again. Will it be the head, the arms, or the tail? The tail? Makapaka, Makapaka. Yes, your little tail is very cute, Makapaka. Let's put your tail on. Oh, oh, oh yes, thank you for fixing that. Good job, Makapaka. You're doing wonderful. Okay, Makapaka. Which is the next piece? The arms. Are you sure it's not the head? No, Makapaka. You're right, Makapaka. There are the arms. And last but not least, Makapaka's head. Oh! <gasps> Wonderful job, Makapaka. I love it. It's even more perfect than it was before. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Oh, goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. It is so cold outside. And Makapaka is having fun in the snow. Woo, it's nice and fluffy and you can see the crystals and you can even see snowflakes if you look up close do you see some snowflake shapes they are so beautiful we decided to make some frozen surprises outside since it was so cold we poured some colored water into a container and our heart rock <laughs> is supposed to hold our Lego oops oh here comes Lala and little Macapaca has fallen over Macapaca sorry Macapaca and so we were putting this rock down as a weight oh you keep falling Macapaca let's put you down here and so now the rock is stuck so what we're going to do is we're going to open up our surprise Lego pieces that are stuck in the ice now, what do we need to melt ice? Well, we can either wait and it will slowly melt in the room temperature, or we can add some hot water. We have to be careful with Lala because hot water can burn. And so we always get help from a parent when we're doing a science experiment or working with something hot and so that it's done safely, tiny fans. So let me get some hot water. All right, I've got some hot water. And once I pour it in, the ice will start to melt. And we'll get our Lego blocks free. Careful, Lala. And the rock will come off. There we go. And there's even some other little surprises like some little stones in our ice cubes you can see but our surprise is inside the blue lego block oops and the green lego block and they're melting very quickly oh and makapaka's having a little swim makapaka makapaka likes the water Woo! Now, oh, you can already see some of the stones. I have some sea glass that I found on a beach. And the glass used to be sharp, but the waves and the rocks make the glass smooth over time. And here's, there's some more sea glass. And the kitten is really interested in what's going on. Our ice is almost melted. Maybe we need to add a little more hot water. Watch out, kitten. Oh, 
our container starting to get full. I think that's enough water. And I think our blue brick is free. Oh, there's definitely something inside. We'll put that aside and we'll open that up. And this one, oh, there I just broke the ice off and it's free. Makapaka! One more jump, Makapaka, off the rock. Makapaka! All right. Now we've dried up our play surface and Makapaka is standing on the Lego blocks. Which color should we open first, Makapaka? Blue. Okay, let's open the blue. Now, do you know how to spell blue, Tiny Fans? You tell them, Makapaka. B L U E Blue. That's right, Makapaka. Oh, look, Makapaka, it's a box of crayons. And we'll just block Kitten because she's having a little private bath. <laughs> <laughs> Silly kitten. Makapaka loves to draw and color. Let's get out our sparkly pencil crayons. Do you see how many crayons are in this box? 64. And here are my glitter pencil crayons and they have some Paw Patrol charms on them. We've got Marshall and Sky. Of course, the Marshall's on the red pencil crayon, and Sky is on the pink one. Oh, what's wrong, kitten? Oh, can you hear kitten? Oh, she's got such a cute little cry. Now I'm going to get my little grateful book out. Do you remember this? It's the 101 Joys Make a Rainbow. So eventually my notebook will make a pretty rainbow. And it's a gratitude journal. That means you write down what you're grateful for. I am grateful for my food. I am grateful for clean water. I'm grateful for my kids or my pets. You can be grateful for many different things. So today I'm going to write that I am grateful for the sun because it is shining today and the sun is a great way to stay healthy. Make sure you get sun on your face every day. About an hour in the morning is great. Okay. Oh, and I need to fold this one. Now I realized I already grabbed a color, but I wanted to ask Tiny Fans, what color should I use to draw the sun? Makapaka, can you help? Oh, golden yellow. Yes, let's draw a golden yellow sun. Oh, and look, somebody's joined us. It's other kitten, Poe. Oh, now she's interested in the Lego brick. The blue one. Don't drink the water in there. Look, she's got a cute little gray toe. Isn't that so adorable? So I am grateful for the sun. S-U-N. And I'm going to do a bright sun. And we'll color it in. And then we just add some lines. You can draw a sun however you'd like. You can even add some oranges in there, like the sunset colors. There we go. And fold this up. Let's go get some sunshine on our faces, Makapaka. Sunshine. Oh, now the kittens have calmed down a bit. They're laying down on the set. Oh, <laughs> and Poe moved the green Lego brick with her tail. Do you know how to spell green, Makapaka? G R E E N. That's right. Oh, and Poe is. Starting to knock things off the desk, silly kitten. Oh, look, Makapaka. It's a camera. And I think we can look at the pictures. Let's have a look. Oh, 
Uh-oh, the camera isn't working. This circle has all of the pictures of fish. And when I push this down, the disc or the circle is supposed to spin so that we can see different photos through the back of the camera. Hmm, I tried to fix it, but I have another camera we can look at. Okay, Makapaka, Makapaka. Wait, Makapaka figured it out. This little piece needed to be on this side of the circle. Let's give it a try now. Good job, Makapaka, Makapaka. We'll put the camera back together just like that. And now... Ooh, look, there's some coral and a yellow fish. I'm going to push the yellow button. <gasps> it works! Yay! There's a blue-white striped fish. A white fish. <gasps> Another yellow fish. Ooh, there's some yellow, and orange, and purple. And there's some angel fish. And we're back at the beginning. Oh, yay, it worked. Makapaka, good job. Sometimes we just need to fiddle around, right? Okay, it's time to say goodbye, tiny fans. I don't know where the kittens went. They must be tired. But we'll say goodbye. Bye-bye.